to blush when somebody says your name. In my stomach, there's a pain. You walk in my direction. I got a new camera. Dope so money, dope so dope spirit. Hello, hi. We're gonna try to be more consistent. Today we're talking about Jezebel Root. Love me some Jezebel Root. Let me tell you something. Jezebel Root is a root that you need to have. You need to have either the root or the oil or both. You can never have too much Jezebel energy and spirit in, in your household. Because Jezebel, you wanna you don't want to think about Jezebels as three or fours. And that's what people begin it twisted. People think, oh, Jezebel, 304. Oh, you will help. No, it's actually success, wealth, power. So in the Hulu um, tradition, when people use Jezebel root, it's not just for attracting men with money. That's why it's not called sugar daddy root. <laughs> I mean, if it was just for sugar daddy purposes, it would be sugar daddy root. But it's not. It's called Jezebel root because it's t it ties to queen, to power, to a seductive being. It ties to more than just the uh, women that's seeking out men. Like, this is perfect for business owners. This is also perfect for, like, waitresses, dancers. Um, back in the day, 304s, they used to walk the, the block, the street, to get their johns, get their clients up. This is what they used. So, it's not just for sugar daddies and attracting men with wealth. That's obviously one way to use it. But, it's to attract wealth for yourself. To attract clients to your business. To attract money into your home okay so this is associated with queen energy boss you a boss if you a boss you need this room okay and you could be a boss in so many different aspects you don't just have to have your own business if you're going into a male dominated field what you need to be working with you want people to look at you like you they respect you this is what you need. you need to manipulate somebody for some money this is what okay just make sure your intentions is pure because this is a good root, all right? So we're going to get into how to use it. Um, Jezebel oil, same thing, really, because this is obviously dressed with the, the root. Yeah, they're connected. We're going to get into that, okay? I always have my handy-dandy notes right here because my brain be going from one thing to another. So, <laughs> yeah. So, apart from this being, you know, for attracting wealthy men, because, yes, people do use this in, like, sugar daddy spells or rituals or work. Or if you're going to an environment where there are a lot of men with money, you would want to carry this root around, like, in your purse and your wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can also use this for domination, period. Okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you to go do your domination work if you don't know how to do domination stuff. Be careful. Your intentions is always very important. However, it is tied to, you know, men with money. Um, again, like I said, male-dominating fields. So if you work with a lot of men and you're not getting the respect that you really deserve. So it's linked to having control over money, over love. You can use this in domination work. Um, if you want extra tips, if you're a dancer, you're, you know, if you're working anywhere with men, basically, and you want to attract money from their pockets, from their hand to your hand, <sighs> to get that money on, you want that domination over that money on, and that man, both, put both in the bag, put it in the bag. Three ways to use the root or the oil. Okay, we want to carry it. You do not always have to anoint yourself with an oil. You do not always have to do extra work with a root or plant. Sometimes just carrying it does the job. So you could whisper your little intentions into one root. You could talk to your root. When you talk to plants, you know that you're feeding a plant energy because everything already comes with energy, right? But when you're talking to that root, you talk talking to that plant. You talk it to whatever. You're feeding it, right? So you could talk to your root and put it in your purse, put it in your pocket, put it in your bra. I mean, it is a little rough. You might scratch up your titty. But you could put it in your wallet. So me, somebody like me, I will put it in my wallet because listen, you can keep the love. Give me the money. <laughs> Give me the money on. I love the money. Okay? So if you want, you got to think about stuff like that. If you want to attract like attention love whatever case may be bra money on wallet or purse just carry on your body 
period if you want to attract these things but i like to think about certain areas for certain purposes so bra love wallet money okay carry it that's just one simple way if you're not into spell work you're not a witch you're not into all of that and you just want to carry it you don't got to wear nothing you don't got to do put the oil on your body because i know a lot of times people associate conjure oils or oils period with smells you do not have to wear conjure oils or intention oils i'm about to do the robot in this bag you don't have to okay so just carrying it you need to be careful because anytime you mess with people's free will if you don't know what you're doing things can get hectic and the police ain't gonna help you all right you can use it in domination rituals or influencing other rituals, right? So you can either burn it, okay, as like an incense. And you also think about your target and you think about your intention. You can add it to candle work. So the, the oil you can also add to candle work. Any domination spells, you can add this to. You have to make sure you know your target. You got your target picture out. You can even go further, write your intentions on your target's face. All right? Burn it as an incense. Walk around the house, burn it. Affirm, affirm, affirm. That image of that person in your head. And if you really into your imagination, because your imagination alone can attract whatever you want. You can really just imagine whatever conversation you want to have with this person. Or if you can see this person handing you some money, picture that up. You want to think about what color they're going to have on that day what scent they what scent they is all of that what they face look like exactly what they say hear it hear their voice and everything if your imagination goes that far and you could whip that up there you go now with the oil same thing you could dress a candle you can dress parchment paper um mojo bags voodoo dolls limit limitless okay you you do not have a limit on what you put this stuff on even with the uh, root, you could put this in mojo bags and dress up your mojo bag. Jars. If you are doing jar spells and you have a target, dress that bad boy up. Pat your weed, ladies. Pat, pat. Okay. Dress that bad boy up. And I mean like you're cooking in the kitchen. Dress that bad boy up. Every step you take, every move you make, I'll be missing you. Nah, but every step you take, you want to set your intentions, okay? I can't stress this enough. The universe don't know what you want, okay? Make that clear. Make that very clear because you can get what you want and not in a way that you pictured it. So make it very clear. Last thing you can use it for is love. Sweetening spells, like sweetening jars. Um, you do want to be careful when you're working on like love spells or sweetening spells, you need to be doing these spells on maybe people that like you, okay? People that already have like that feeling towards you. It just enhances what is there. So a lot of times when you are doing work on somebody, just know the energy that's there. If you're not working on um, rekindling or like, you know, mending a relationship, if you just jump into making this person sweet, and they don't even like you, it's not going to go the way that you want. All right? So you can add it to attraction spells, sweetening jars, red mojo bags. If you have a target, it's always good to print out their picture. Or even if you don't want to print out the picture, have it in your head. Every step you take, every move you make, set those intentions. Okay? It's really, really simple. I cannot make it more simple than that. I, I, I mean, I really, really can't. I just can't make it more simple than that. So if you are a waitress or you're working for tips or you're working for anybody's paycheck, God damn it. <sighs> Again, set your intentions for that. That's it. You're just setting intentions with the tools that are going to enhance your work. You are already powerful. These extra tools are that tools. Okay. They're tools to enhance what you already got going on, which is your power. Okay? So it is root. Don't sleep. Do not sleep on Jezebel root. Oh. 
Jezebel root is that root. Okay? Make sure you got some root up in your house. And that bra. And that wallet. So, I'm going to be more active. I'm going to be putting spells on her. I got a new camera. I got to be active. I must. I have to. I'm going to have little vlogs on here. I'm going to have different content. I won't lie to you. So, make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment what you want to see in the future. Tell me the videos you want to see or any questions you have, and I will try to make a video for it. Make sure you stick around. Dope soul, dope spirits. Talk to y'all soon.